Okay. So I'm trying to look at the next um, test which could be used for what? Fetal maternal hemorrhage. This is what is known as the Klihau Becht test. Klihau Becht test, right? So for this one, um, you see the pictures, right? It might not make sense to you, but when we explain it, it will make sense to you. So it's a laboratory test which is used to dictate what? Fetal red blood cells in maternal circulation. You understand? It's primarily performed to access the extent of fetal maternal hemorrhage, which occurs when what? The fetal blood is entering into the mother circulation. Now, a lot of things could cause this, right? So the principle is what the test relies on what? Acid resistance of uh, fetal hemoglobin. So the maternal blood smear is treated with acid, which removes what? Adult hemoglobin, but preserves what? Fetal hemoglobin. Do you understand? If you treat it with acid, the fetal hemoglobin will resist it. So now the slide is now stained. The fetal red blood cells they usually appear pink. Do you understand? This is what you see on the slide. All right. So the number of fetal red cells is counted to estimate the volume of what fetal blood loss. All right. So application is for to determine what um, immunoglobulin dosage for restless negative models, assess fetal an anemia, all right? guide what intrauterine transfusion decisions. So limitations is sometimes false positive may occur due to what matter hemoglobinopathies like the mother is what sickle cell trait. Subjects what interpretation. So result depends on the manual cell counting. So alternative methods are what flow cytometry is much more precise. Okay, so that's it for this one.